Hey, what's going on, fellas? Have you ever wondered what 1,300 horsepower looks like coming out of a hose, like a gas line? Like if you had a 1,300 horsepower engine, what would the spray of gas look like coming out of the fuel pump? Well, I've got a fuel gauge here, and we're gonna take a look at what one megawatt worth of diesel fuel looks like flowing out of the end of a hose. And we're also gonna take a look at what one megawatt of burning waste oil looks like. It's right about at one megawatt right there, right where I got that one. That's what one megawatt worth of energy looks like in liquid form. Isn't that cool? I just had to share that with you guys. I'm kind of a nerd. We all know that. Uh, I, I'm just sitting here draining this tank and I thought, man, I wonder what that actually looks like to the eye. A one megawatt flow. We're draining this fuel tank that I made here for these experiments. And the flow rate's remaining consistent. Despite the, um, the pressure head drop. You cannot use this flow gauge with waste oil. It would restrict flow because we're using a siphon system. I'd have to hook up a pump and I don't want to do that. So we're just going to use the stopwatch method to calculate the flow rate of this massive burner I got right here. It's been too west, uh, windy to resume testing. Tomorrow it's fly or die. We're just gonna proof test this thing in the wind. I'm tired of waiting. It is extremely cold outside. And uh, that's gonna be another huge factor. problem is guys I don't have an air compressor to run this thing the way it should be running um, I'm half tempted to just go rent one this thing would be a rocket engine right now if we had the air we need you can see I'm nearly burnt alive in the experiment what we're looking at here is a fuel dispenser or a fuel tank that has a graduated sight glass however there's a little bit of a story about that um, we're going to start off talking about the amount of fuel we consumed in the test that we're looking at in this video. The duration of the test and the amount of fuel used correlate to quite a bit of power here. Okay, so right here is probably right around the 750 kilowatt zone. This is uh, starving for air, but nonetheless, I was trying to dial it in right at one megawatt, and the wind is really just killing the flame as well. Right here, you see that little blast? That was like a, a one megawatt blast for sure. Let's take another look at that and see what happens here. That is an enormous amount of power. I am unable to access the valve again to shut this thing down at this point. The radiation coming off of this fireball is just too intense to get by. You can see I make an attempt to shut it down right there, but I had to bail. I'm on fire at this point. I have to go and grab the airline before it nearly causes a structure fire due to the winds. So quite the event for sure. This thing is really spitting out some power here. That is incredible. Okay, fellas, what we're looking at here is an overexposed image of this burner doing well over one megawatt. 1 1.6 liters per minute is the one megawatt point if you consider one liter being 10,000 watt hours of power. So that's how these calculations are made. 
I was having trouble getting this shot because of the bad lighting and also the diesel tank has to be elevated above the burner in order to overcome the restriction of this flow meter so I just wanted to get a quick snapshot validating that this thing can in fact do well over one megawatt because I got a couple of naysayers beating me up in the comments I thought I'd show them this just to let them know I am actually testing this stuff and I'm not, I wouldn't just lie to you guys I mean I sure as hell ain't trying to be that guy. So this is just a quick snapshot validating that we got well over 1.6 liters per minute, which is well over one megawatt. And we did the same thing with waste oil. So not trying to con anyone or lie to anybody. I'm trying to actually break barriers here.